Hey guys, welcome to another video with Ruckus. I'm sure some of you all have been waiting. I'm sure some of you guys are probably just checking us out. And yeah, happy first you Friday, guys. Glad it's finally Friday. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is my uh, question and answer uh, answering video. Some of you guys have uh, sent me some questions. Some things about me. Um, I'm 23 years old. Just moved about, I want to say a year ago from California. I've lived there all of my life. And um, yeah, Arizona is a wonderful state. I love the furries. I love the community. I definitely like the car scene. I definitely like the people here. I miss California, and mainly because my family are still there. So, you know, we go back and forth, hang out with my dad. He's grateful to, you know, hang around with, go to the Grand Canyon, you know, and do all this, you know, really fun stuff. But before I get to the uh, question and answers, I want to say thank you guys again for checking, you know, this video out, you know, uh, really means a lot. Like, <laughs> so much to me. Um, yeah, and, um, you know, just kind of going along the way. Um, ran into a lot of really good questions, and uh, I, I'm ready to begin. Um, so, yeah. All uh, right. So, there was a few that I have really honestly wanted to uh, answer. All right, considering that most questions will be about the furry community, I'll try to be unique. I like unique. What is your favorite dessert junk food? Oh man, whoo. Uh, my favorite dessert or junk food. I, I like chocolate cake a lot. So much that I I shouldn't be consuming that much. I mean, eh. Um, so yeah, I want to say chocolate cake. Um, I play a lot of video games a lot, so uh, hot tamales. Hot tamales and like Mountain Dew are like... <laughs> it's like, you know, pepperoni to pizza. I guess it just goes great so well together. <laughs> All right, next question. What is your favorite place to eat and why? Back when I was in California, there was a place called Lazy Dog Cafe. And over there, you could get chicken fettuccine Alfredo, Alfredo which is my personal favorite, and hot wings. And you can get Mountain Dew, so that was awesome. That was just, you know, a, it was just, you know, it was just the nice thing on the cake. It went together so well, and it was, it was pretty cheap. I mean, Lazy Dog Cafe, you could bring your dog and eat with them, and it was like outside, and it was very friendly, great place, recommendable, if you guys are in the SoCal area. Next question. Who is your favorite furry YouTuber? Honestly, I have never... I, I don't believe if I've ever honestly seen any furries on YouTube. I've just kind of been doing my own thing. And I honestly should be. I really... I love, you know, a lot of people. I've definitely idolized a lot of people. And... I, I haven't honestly checked out any furry YouTubers, and I know there's a lot of them that are out there that are pretty good at what they do. <laughs> so, keep doing your things. You guys are amazing. Alright. Rainbow Master Race. I wouldn't say that. We're just, you know, all the colors of the rainbow. We couldn't just pick one, two, or three. We had to go with all bazillion of them. <laughs> Who is my fursuit crush? Okay, I'll admit. 
There's a few rainbow fursuiters I do not know by heart. I love Hawthorne. He, I've definitely said that before. Uh, hmm. Fursuit crush. You know, after BLFC, it was like my very first real con. There were so many beautiful fursuits. Like uh, this year, I just saw so many of them. You know, just scrolling through the pictures, I'm like, I love him. I love them. I love her. I love all of them. They're so amazing. And I was like, God, I just, uh, who are they? They're my fursuit crushes, I guess. I just don't know any by heart. <laughs> what brought me to the furry fandom? Great question. This is my favorite. I was at a car meet and I met my maker, uh, who's now, um, you know, with Heads and Tails Studios. Uh, she's the maker of them who made my beautiful, amazing rainbow husky fursuit ruckus. We met at a car meet in California. I forgot exactly what it was. And I had a I had a really, you know, if you ever started out in the furry fandom, you always have like a tail or you always have like something that kind of, you know, breaks you out of, you know, the norm. It kind of, you know, you just have a tail or you have like a set of ears. I, I did. And um, I brought my tail and so did they. They had like, you know, their partials. They just came back, I believe, from BLFC 2015. And um, I had an old Subaru at the time and we met and we became friends and we became really good friends i got you know a fursuit from them i believe like the next week after and i wasn't able to get it until like the ending of that year and he was volvith my gray wolf very beautiful suit it was my angry eyed wolf and i loved him so much and that kind of just you know got me into the furry fandom and i joined the community started going out to meet, started meeting new people. It was amazing. It was the greatest, you know, life turning experience I've ever had in anything. And I've done a lot. I've done BMX. I've done, you know, high school football. Um, I've done roller skating for about 14 years. Um, I've, I, I've been doing the car scene for a little while now. I, I still am, but you know, the furry fandom and the car scene, they're two different things. The car scene, you know, you can be online and show pictures and, you know, do certain things and show off and whatnot. The furry fandom is a community of being who you are and doing what you love doing, which is dressing up as <laughs> anything you want to be. It's just amazing, you know. And yeah, here I am two years later with this gorgeous suit. I sold my Grey Wolf one to a you know, a very trustworthy person. And I preferred this character more just because I love being the Rainbow Doggo. Okay. Next question. Is my fursuit Rockus an original design? Has my design changed at all? Hmm. Well, um, he is an original character. Uh, funny story. The design that I had for this character was pretty bad. <laughs> this was an artistic liberty um, from my maker, and she was amazing enough to help me out, you know, with the colors, the tie-dye, and pretty much almost everything else. She has pretty much helped me with all of it because I told her, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I wanted you just to make something really colorful, a husky, can you please help? And she was like, so with that being said, Ruckus came out looking way better than my original design. Unfortunately, I don't have my original design because it was two years ago, but he had a star, which was going to be on this side right here, and it was a giant rainbow star on the side and <laughs> it was gonna be black and white and it was just a, a hot mess and 
I was like, uh, can you help me out? <laughs> and then my friend with the ref design, she's like, you know, I'd really appreciate it if, you know, we got this, you know, character, you know, help take a look at and we went back and forth and whatnot. And then, you know, the outcome was just, you know, it was, it was way better than I imagined. It was gorgeous. It was way well worth my money spent. So worth it. And, you know, uh, he's an original design, original character, artistic liberty, helped out with. Um, am I changing the character? Yes. Rockus has a 2.0 coming out this year. I already have the ref sheet being made. Uh, it won't be finalized, I believe, until September. And it's going to look pretty gorgeous. He's going to be a planty grade, not a digi grade, because digi grade is what I am. And I definitely like the new colors that Rockus 2.0 is going to be coming out with. I'm very excited for him. And. I hope you guys are as well too. I'll be revealing him all over Amino, uh, my Facebook, and definitely YouTube. So I'm very excited for the new Ruckus. This is a two-year-old character, so I mean I didn't really need it, but I just I really wanted to. So next question: Do I think I will ever be uninterested in the furry fandom? I don't think so. The furry fandom is very creative. It's, um, the furry fandom is very, it's, there's always something going on. There's always something new. I just never get old of, you know, or tired of doing this. I don't think I will ever get tired of, you know, dressing up as a animal or a husky. I love this. I, I love, you know, uh, watching some videos like what I used to do back in SoCal or here and you know some edited music everybody just looks so happy and I wanted to be a part of that especially you know someone like me who's you know able to do you know some cons here and work most of the time I want to be a part of it and it's just like I want to work towards that it's like a goal you know, everyone's got goals. Everybody wants to, you know, get a fursuit. Get a fursuit? Okay, everybody wants to go to cons. Okay, go to cons. Everybody wants to be known. You know, it's it's like, you know, makes everything interesting. It's, it's pretty cool. I love it, you know. I don't think I'll ever be uninterested in the furry fandom. What would be my reaction if my fur suddenly turned green? Well... I don't think I've had that happen yet. Um, my gray wolf fursuit had a hard time, I guess, with uh, some pictures being taken, and it kind of mor morphed, I guess, with, like, blue and green. So, I mean, I am kind of green, or green. There we go. <laughs> All right, next question. What type of content will my YouTube mainly be focused about? My focus on this YouTube account is the adventures of ruckus the adventures that i just kind of you know want to put you know myself into unveiling towards others and you know if people want to see it they they would want to you know um i i totally have a lot of plans future plans wise I definitely have the time. Um, I, I love going to Flagstaff. I'm sure most of you guys have seen some of my pictures, I'm sure. Um, you know, there's plenty of other times in the future where I'm going to probably be going to different states and cons and stuff like that. And I definitely want to add pictures. I definitely, you know, want to remember this stuff all as memories. It's all it is. It's all good memories, good times, and good people. And you know, I, I want my YouTube to mainly steer towards that. I want everyone to see, you know, how great of a fun time you can have in the furry fandom. And if we meet, I would love that. So 
definitely what my U2 